What the AFL was piloting here was this dream that one day women might have a league of their own that they could um, look at the same way that we look at men's football. Yes, full credit to Melbourne and the Western Bulldogs have been great supporters of women's footy in recent years. And of course, I couldn't wait to watch these women playing because I'd heard about them and I got to see them at this exhibition match. I was not sure if I wanted to go because I haven't been involved in women's football in so long and I decided, I think, last minute the day before to go. Lutus the sail was blown away. It was just, you know, from the warm-up to the, the game itself, the skill level, the fact that they're playing on the MCG and they were wearing AFL jerseys. Great pace by the number two draft pick. Check sides, it's through for a goal. And... I just wanted to literally leave the MCG and go to the gym because I wanted, I wanted to be out there. She came back, she said to me, Mum, I think I might go back to footy. I said, if you're going to go back to footy, make it on your terms. I knew it was going to take a lot of work, and I knew I let myself go, like, you know, body-wise, I put on a bit of weight, and so I knew it was going to be a hard road, and I didn't expect it to happen in a week. Fortunately for her and for the game, she's back in the game, and she's in love with the game again. At the moment, locally, I play for St Kilda Sharks. I started playing for them two years ago. She's so strong. She's such a smart reader of the play, and her skills are phenomenal. She's on track to kick 100 goals this year. I got to know more and more about her background and found out what a very solid, wonderful person she was. Not only a good footballer, she'd done it so tough. She'd had the hard school of knocks, like myself. And immediately, we had a rapport, the two of us. My one has always been wanting to work. So I've never known wanted to be, you know, I'll stay at home today or I don't want to do this anymore. I run a traffic management company. So my days normally start at 3 a.m. I actually hire some of my brothers and sisters to work for me. Family means everything to Mo. One of the things Mo's trying to do now is look at how she can set herself up financially, try and set up the family for life. Someone like Mo and I hope who is the best goal kicker, not only in Victoria, but in the country, she doesn't get paid playing football. Say go Mo! Go Mo! The male counterparts get paid and they get paid extraordinary amounts of money. If the AFL brings in a professional league, it really needs to consider, and it's a must, that these women athletes get paid. The AFL has named the eight clubs that will take part in its inaugural women's competition next year. Go Pies! A landmark day for Aussie rules and for women's sport in Australia. I'm just so happy. I can't tell you how happy I am. I, I, I was in tears before. Next year is probably the most exciting year. It's uh, when AFL women's first ever competition starts. It's an issue of equity and we believe strongly that's the right thing to do. But it's also uh, a, a good business decision, decision for the AFL. What it symbolises is the AFL saying, you can be real legends of the game. We want to give you the status that we give Brownlow medalists and captains and premiership players. Every club participating in the National Women's League in 2017 gets to nominate five marquee players. We nominated five and Moana Hope was one of the five. Uh, within the five, uh, we also required to nominate two that you were, we are virtually guaranteed uh, to get. Mo Hope has a very good chance of being a marquee player, and those marquee players will be paid the highest salary of, of all the players on the list. The figure of $25,000 has been mentioned. I had a missed call from the AFL last night from a guy called Josh Vandeloup, who's in charge of the women's section. You'll call me back this afternoon. If I get one of the top two players, it'll be an amazing help financially for me. At the moment, we pay 500 bucks a, a year for fees to play football. Say hello. Say hello. Mum, say hello. Hello. Say hello to the new marquee of Collingwood Football the... Club.
Are you crying, you big sucky lala? Oh, it's so good. Mm. It's good. Yeah, you just call me. Oh, choice. Hey, Dad. I'm sure you've seen all the Collingwood stuff last week. Hope you're proud. Being named a marquee for Collingwood Football Club is breathtaking. It's mind blowing. I don't think I have the, the words on how blessed I feel to have been given this opportunity. I would have loved to have been at the Bulldogs, but at the same time, it's an AFL team and they've selected me, so I'm just, I'm very grateful. The Collingwood Football Club have selected Moana Hope and Emma King. Sue would not be happy about this. She'd like to have all the best female players playing for the Western Bulldogs. Of course, she's totally biased. Sue has an absolute passion for the young women that play football. They're like daughters. The AFL Women's League will commence in February 2017, but right now you've got players like Moana Hope who are preparing for finals. Her team actually is second on the ladder with St Kilda Sharks. goals in my local VFL competition and we've got one round left. One, two, three, shot! I don't think there's been anyone in the VFL or at the highest level kick a hundred goals so this is really a, uh, a great moment. I'd love to meet Mo and her family. I mean, she's a real family girl and she's just a remarkable woman. I cannot imagine a Mercedes rocking up to my mum's street, first of all, rather than pulling up to my mum's house. <laughs> we do live in Glenroy. Hello, hello, Mo. How are you, darling? Mm. Oh, thank you for having me this here. This is my mum. This is your mum. Pleasure and what's to meet your you. Name? Shows me. Sue's a big believer in helping people, and she can see that Mo's trying to get to a place, and Mo's been through a lot in her life already at 28 years of age, as Sue has in her life, and and they've bonded, and I think they'll ha they'll always have a, a a very close bond for the rest of their life. This is um. You're all good looking. Don't say that. I give him a big head. This is nice. <laughs> Right. Women and men, yeah. Hi. And this is Paul. Hello, Paul, once again. Hello. This is only a couple. Yeah, I know. This is about a trillion. Yeah. Do you what remember all their names, though? No. no. Not, not even their birthdays. It's not worth it. <laughs> <laughs> if people um, speak about who who's their inspiration as a person, Susan's mine. I'll tell them I'm about your pearls, too. <laughs> people would be shocked if you wore pearls, <laughs> especially playing football. They'd probably mm. think I took them from you. Yeah. <laughs>